Today I am doing a mukbang um, where I'm going to eat this very cute pomegranate. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Every single pomegranate that I had this summer did not cut it, but the last pomegranate that I had from Walmart was really good. I got this one from Walmart. It looks good. It looks pretty shiny. So I'm about to eat it and apparently okay this look is called me and my lavender <laughs> uh so there is a set of 36 questions that basically like if you ask these questions on the first couple of dates you will know um if this person is your soulmate if you are in love with this person so I'm going to eat my pomegranate and answer these questions. Maybe should have cut this off camera. Let's see. Let's just hope that the inside looks good. Looks like a jackpot to me. Put that there. And I actually saw an Instagram video of a better way to cut your pomegranate, but oof. what's it? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay. The pomegranate is good. First question. If you can invite anyone to the if you can invite anyone in the world to dinner, who would it be? Rihanna. I know she bring him cute clothes and jets. Would you like to be famous in what way? Yes, I actually want to be a talk show host. Like I feel like some people know that, um, but the thing for me is like poetry is this way to like amass a large audience. Um, that's because I want to be a talk show host. Mm -hmm. And Spread inspiration and fashion and, you know, good stories. So yes, I would like to be famous. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're gonna say? It really depends on who I'm calling. If I'm calling a friend, no. If I'm calling some place because I'm interested in working there or like getting some type of like fellowship or grant, 100% look in the mirror and everything might even jot down some notes about what i'm going to say what will constitute a perfect day for you mm, i'm in paris it's hot outside i got my legs showing somehow i done found a crepe with berries mm, i magically have a chanel bag there was some family members who've been visiting me for the past two weeks. Um, that's some very fresh sushi. And I wrote a poem that was gonna win me a Pulitzer Prize. That's a perfect day. Mm. When did you last sing to yourself to someone else? Definitely was in here singing the other day because it was my anniversary. So I was singing, I got my pearls. That's how I was singing to somebody else. Dang, I ain't been romancing these niggas, huh? Because I can't remember. If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of life, which would you want? 100% my mind. Stop playing with me. What? I want to be sane. Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? Yikes, creepy. Mm. I guess the cancer scares me, y'all. Shouldn't have said that on the video. Universe, I'm just saying. That's just some. I'm... Um, you know, I'd be listening to Nipsey Hussle songs and be like, God damn. But the damn question asked me, so I had to say it. Cancer is scary. 
Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. What partner? You guys, I could talk about members from a team separately. <laughs> mm. Me and guys that I like generally are into fashion. Me and guys that I like generally like good food. Mm. And me and the guys that I like generally like bake. They're not always like 100% artists, but they got creative bones and stuff. Now, what's these questions? I thought you must be asking these on a date. You asked me about a partner. Um, what in your life do you feel most grateful for? What in your life do you feel most grateful? Definitely. Just how cheap my bills are. Like, I really got friends who out here like living a real adult life um, with crazy bills and. My monthly bills are basically like six seventy five. That's my rent, utilities, and my phone bill is only paid every three months. So like, yeah, I'm proud. I'm grateful for that. Like, um, there's hella other stuff, but they say, "What are you most grateful for?" And I think like living in America and having like very low monthly bills. I know how important that is because this work shit. This pomegranate is very good. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? That's so crazy. I mean, sometimes I really do wonder what it would be like to have grown up in Chicago. But, you know, I grew up in Tampa, Florida, and I am who I am. But I guess if we out here getting genie requests made just for the sake of life to redo it, because, you know, I'm 26, about to be 27, and these bills is crazy, why not do a little rewind? grow up in chicago and figure some shit out way earlier um take four minutes to tell your partner your life story in as much detail as part impossible do i got four minutes i was born in chicago to a family that was very very huge on my mother's side not so huge on my daddy's side. I spent a lot of times with my cousins at my grandma's house in London town houses. Um, I really liked reading. I really liked school. And um, I remember one time, so in Chicago, you're supposed to go to your neighborhood school and um, I didn't go to my neighborhood school. I was like using my auntie's address to go to school. So we took private buses and um, this bus driver, maybe you're like in retrospect, 28 to 34 year old black man, he used to pick us up from our house inside like a little minivan. And I was reading Harry Potter at the time. And I remember he like tried to like read my Harry Potter book or try to take it out of my hand or something, trying to be funny. And I hit him in the head with a yogurt. And I got in so much trouble for that. I just remember it being like, that's a grown man. Why is he trying to take my book? He needed to get hit in his head with this yogurt. And, you know, I just always remember that. I only remember getting in trouble twice ever in my whole entire life by my parents. When I say in trouble, I mean like whoopings. I'm not sure I've got it when I was younger, but coherently, like what, like eight to like, now two one for my mom one for my dad and one of them was for me hitting that bus driver in the head with yogurt mm. but fast forward to today i am literally just happy to be alive like very very interested in living a few years in paris um just because i don't know i just i want to it's in my heart so i should do it um that one too many that one even my whole life if you wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Motherfucking focus and motherfucking discipline. Like, let me wake up and just be permanently like on Adderall. Not actually, but like the effects of Adderall naturally because I am a creator who likes to do a whole lot of stuff. Mm. 
But that means you gotta like be focused and like on one thing. Like, I always got a lot going on in my life. I did my own hair last night. It's just slight retwist. It won't even wet. Um, slight retwist. And then three braided rubber bands at the bottom up to two ponytails. Um, if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, anything else, what would you want to know? What is my meal ticket? How am I supposed to make billions of dollars so that I can create a world that makes sense for me to want to have kids in? Is there something you dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? Mainly that shit is like moving to Paris and why haven't I done it yet? You know, just trying to save some money and plan. The goal is 2021 or 2022. I don't know which one, but I'm definitely going for at least three months, like living there type of shit. Because it's just important. It's something I want to do. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Hmm. That's crazy. Is it? <laughs> have gone to Paris? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a lot of things in my life. Um, Paris being one of them. Um, my MFA being one of them. Uh, me being a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated being one of them. Um, just new job I just recently snagged being one of them I have literally like written things down said it out loud and like quote on not even done the work I've done the work and got it and like those are like always the greatest things like I remember after I crossed mm, I was going through a uh, old bible that my grandfather gifted me it was my granny's who had passed away and I had written all these things that I wanted for myself my freshman year of college. I written it in there. And it just happened to be like going through things after I crossed and like literally like that was on there. And I thought like, this is a big deal. So mm, a lot of cool things like as the IRC, I literally was walking to work. I was working at Lollapalooza. I see the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. I Google it and see that they have a writing program and like Mm, I'm not sure how many people know this at this point, but I didn't even get into SAIC the first time. I did, I did City Year, the year after I graduated from USF. Um, but then I get in, and I thought that was a big deal when I got that acceptance letter. Like, me? Okay, y'all. Okay. That was dope. I'd be willing to in my life. What do you value most in friendship? Mm. Phone calls? It does mean like I think most of my like close, 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 close friends are, you know, not in Chicago right now. Um none of my life sisters in Chicago. So when we get the chance to like sit and like actually talk on the phone for a student period of time, I like that. I like that. Mm. What is your most treasured memory? Mm. Like I was just like, let me close my eyes and think. And there's this like really cool picture of like me like intensely doing the Tootsie Roll for my gran, um, for my granny in the house that I grew up in, which is the house that like my dad like still has. Um, and I, 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 I was at my cousin's wedding recently and Tootsie Roll came on and I was doing it and it was just like, oh, I really remember like <laughs> Tootsie Roll for my granny. She used to love that. What is your most terrible memory? Hmm. Mm. I definitely got like PTSD whenever like my period's about to start. Like for somehow there always ends up being in this moment. Like first day when I'm just like on the toilet, like really like being saying to myself like this this is gonna pass, Kyle. Like you gonna be okay. Like 
this pain ain't gonna last forever. Just like get through these couple of hours and everything gonna be cool. My period is not where it's at. Period cool. If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you're living now? Why? Yes. Mm. Maybe I would strip. Because it's like, why not? Get some fast cash. Travel abroad. Show my assets. Mm. Kind of like the whole reason I choose not to strip is quote unquote my reputation. So if I'm going to die and I know I'm going to die, I'm going to have some fun. Strip and get some cash. Spin it on some gas. And go to the Met. <laughs> mm. What does friendship mean to you? Um, friendship means uh, accountability. Friendship means fun. Friendship means laughs and just mm, community. I think that's really what it is. Like, can you pull up and just like have some tea and just talk about your favorite TV show or? discuss these plans and your agenda that is so muffled up or talk about this really bad decision you made mm -hmm. friendship is conversation it's words what role do you love and affection play in your life ciao you know in the past okay let's start my birth chart i'm a libra moon and that means i like naturally crave partnership and that's just really the truth i crave partnership and you know when i downloaded costar and learned about libra moon and what it meant and like got pattern and then giving all these tips of like baby girl it's time for you to make yourself your favorite partner mm, because you're going to keep meeting people because you're a dynamic person. Like, I'm always going to meet men that I'm interested in, who are interested in me. But if I want something long-term and not just, like, fast and fun that fizzles out, I have to, like, take it slow. <laughs> and I'm, like, learning what that means to really take things slow. Like, I'm just, like, a people's person i like being around people so when i meet someone that i really like i'm like let's do this and then let's do this and let's do this and still let's hang out on the weekend and i'm learning that's not like the best thing to do like in romance especially when you're both hot like you're just gonna like begin to become extremely attracted to uh the physical and not even know who each other are and then years or months go by and you're like i don't even like this person they're just cute um but if you look at my pattern what is it? i got i have an extra theme i think everyone has 10 i have 11 and out of those 10 uh four of them are about love and romance i mean i'm a poet my favorite movie is love jones and the breakfast club like i like the romantics i like idealism i like things to be like cute and sweet and like more exaggerated so like love and affection play a huge role in my life but right now you know i'm doing career change i'm working on a solo show i'm releasing two books i'm just vibing and like really like looking for friends i'm building my audience these days so if you've ever been interested be my friend hit me up in my dms let's go to the mca okay I want friends. Guy friends, specifically. I got a lot of girlfriends already. But girls, if you want to be my friend, I'm interested too. Be me. Mm. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic about your partner. I don't got no partner right now. Can't do that with y'all. Sorry, because it says share five. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most people's? I ain't gonna judge other people's childhoods. I think I have a pretty nice childhood. I'm a middle child and I think that's a huge part of my like life. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a middle child. I literally used to call myself Cinderella. Like, I remember that. Mm. But I would, my 
mom's side is really big like my grandma clara recently passed away and at her funeral i think the number is about 76 grands great grands great 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 grands like whatever it is so i got a lot of cousins um on my dad's side most immediately i got five cousins and my sister and brother you know on both sides so very close um i hang with my cousins quite a lot um mm. it's like interesting because when my grandma passed away we lost her house and that's something like, i just like i haven't been over there since it happened and like that's so much of my childhood and i want to like do some art do some like pictures of my family over there or something so maybe i should like chat with them about that but uh, i had a pretty happy childhood i feel so blessed all the time just um that i have been able to be myself like i'm very peculiar and like into like you know nerdy things i suppose but like i was never like judged or like told i couldn't do these things so pretty happy childhood very warm mm. how do you feel about your relationship with your mother you know my mom is in florida and i'm in chicago so you know long distance mommying is you know it's hard but you know i love my mom and i feel so happy actually the other day i was wearing a pair of jeans she got me um from fashion nova and like it's just like funny to tell my friends i was like oh yes my mom got me these from fashion nova because they're so cute and fashionable i'm from fashion nova so i feel blessed i think my mom is the person who most allowed me to be myself most allowed me to make my own decisions and um definitely gave me my creative bone like my mom literally used to do our nails for prom and homecoming and stuff like that do our hair mm. so she definitely gave me my creativity and has always supported like i'm like i want to be a poet she's like okay i want to be a painter it's like okay i love that lady what up make three we statements for instance we are both in this room feeling ain't no we be complete distance mm. I wish I had someone with whom I could share a bank account with dead ass if we're going to become close friends if you're going to become close friends with your partner please share what would be important to know for him or her to know mm that we gonna have to like go out we're gonna have to go to art shows we're gonna have to go to the bar we're gonna have to go shopping we gotta get out of the house that's important tell your partner what you like about them be very honest this time no partner and let's talk about someone that i i'm trying to um snag at the end of 2020 i think we need to like grow and like you know get our shit together and shit but that's the person in my heart right now and you know to tell the partner what you would like what you like about them be very honest this time saying things that you might not say to someone you just met okay mm. i like your energy and you know that i'm always saying that mm. i like how passionate you are about things like you got emotions and not only do you got emotions you want to talk about those emotions and i think that's so beautiful because i got emotions that i want to talk about too um you dress so nice the jacket you had on the other day was so cute with your cute little shoes mm. and you're very social and in tune with pop culture. And I like that. I feel like a lot of times, like, young men pretend to not, not be in the know. No Twitter jokes and stuff. And you do. Um, and I'm coming for you, boo. 
I really am. I don't want you right now. I'm trying to get at least ten thousand dollars. But I decided to fall in love. Because it just where I'm at right now. I know the being gonna love me. I got about three right now. That I could fall in love with. But I ain't gonna do that right now because I ain't got time. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's actually funny, even like just like kind of looking at my work right now. So, senior year, I have an elective. And of course, Kyle with the bright ideas decides I'm gonna take a motherfucking painting class. Mass ain't never take no painting class. I used to paint on cardboard for fun. So, anyway, in this class, and the girl is just fucking struggling. Everything is abstract. I'm trying to make things not so abstract. And one time we had to like paint this still life, and my still life was like this like Buddha statue, a copy of Othello. Um, a pen, maybe it's just a soldier book. I can't remember. It's very random stuff. So I'm like painting, 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 trying so hard, looking around at everyone else's, and like everyone brought their own four objects, but their shit looked like what the fuck is supposed to look like. My shit looks so fucking abstract. And my teacher like comes around, and she literally said to me, "She's like, Kyle." I was hoping this time you try not to go for the more abstract look. I was just so embarrassed, like, ma'am, I'm over here trying. <laughs> that is just how I paint, sis. Like, oof. That's not the most embarrassing. I don't want to tell y'all about my most embarrassing. My most embarrassing stuff is like bodily fluids and functions. And no, thank you. That was like, ma'am. I'm an abstract artist. <laughs> when did you last cry in front of another person by yourself? What was I watching last night? Or not even last night. I guess Grey's Anatomy this week is the last time I cried. In front of another person? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna some solo dolo sad shit. <laughs> Mm. So you're probably something that you like about them already. Boy, I like your face. What if anything is too serious to be joked about? School shootings and death. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? This is like crazy. Why I gotta die so much? I'd be saying what I gotta say. Your house containing everything you own catches fire. What the fuck? After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save one item. What would it be and why? Hmm. I'm looking around my room. Mm. Maybe my grandma's winter coat. Um, cause this beautiful memory of her, and also like very practical living in Chicago. Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most disturbing? They are out of control. Mm. Why is anyone younger than me in my family? Because mm, it's just something about thinking I'm gonna outlive someone who's like two right now. Like that's not okay. Share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how you might handle it. Oh, we got nobody to answer. Okay, so it says, congratulations, you've answered all the questions. Now for the hard part. 
in order to solidify your love you have to look into your partner's eyes for four minutes in silence it's hard and you'll squirm but you'll learn an incredible amount good luck are you serious Okay, like I'm actually gonna like invite somebody on a date and do this because I didn't know that was the end of this, but I'm not even close to the end of my pomegranate, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna finish these last two in my hair. Um, so if you love me after that, you can only be my friend right now. Um, my Instagram, my uh, Twitter is at Windy City Muse. Could you go up? Let's go to the museum. I didn't pick up some more pomegranate. It's so good. I'm almost done. I'm about to finish. I promise. <laughs>